Can you imagine the lives of some of our parents? Watching TV after dinner marks the climax of the day. Tom's runaway cat was the talk of the town and even the tax law had not changed for years. Now mass killings are news for a day as there are worse, newer crimes to report tomorrow. The need to learn is replaced with the need to have an unlimited cell phone data plan. And yes, you now have no friends if you don't have Facebook friends. The only thing we know for sure is that you need to move what you know today to recycle bins when new information surfaces tomorrow. Gee, if you can't catch up with life in the fast lane, you better get off the information highway. Other than the few people who believe that we are alone in the vast universe, most of us are at least curious to know what else is out there. Think about it this way. Do you think God would stop creating after creating humans long, long ago? The chances of us being alone is quite slim. Don't you agree? Of course, whoever our alien neighbors are, they may be far, far away. But like a good neighbor, they probably felt the need to contact us. After we sent two messages to space telling them, we are here. Did you know the SETI Institute sent out a 1974 interstellar radio message with basic information about humanity and Earth? The Arecibo message was sent to globular star cluster M13 in the hope that extraterrestrial intelligence might receive and decipher it. The message consists of seven parts that encode the following from the top down. The numbers 1 to 10, white. The atomic numbers of the elements hydrogen, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, and phosphorus, which make up deoxyribonucleic acid, DNA, purple. The formulas for the sugars and bases in the nucleotides of DNA, green. The number of nucleotides in DNA and a graphic of the double helix structure of DNA white and blue. A graphic figure of a human, the dimension, physical height, of an average man, and the human population of Earth, red, blue, white, and white respectively. A graphic of the solar system indicating which of the planets the message is coming from, yellow. A graphic of the Arecibo radio telescope, and the dimension, the physical diameter, of the transmitting antenna dish, purple, white, and blue. And in 2001, the chilled Bolton crop circle seemed to deliver to us a direct answer. It appeared right next to Britain's largest telescope, the world's largest fully steerable meteorological radar. It told us that it is three feet tall with a big head. They are from a solar system with eight planets, and they occupied the second, third, and fourth planets. They gave us their population, their DNA, and their ways of communication, crop circles. They showed an image of a crop circle that appeared a year ago in the same crop field. Now, to crop circle enthusiasts like me, it was a call we have been waiting for. To the rest of the world, it is a clever hoax by some crazy people. Earlier this year, February 7, 2017, scientists announced the discovery of four additional planets in the TRAPPIST-1 planetary system found in 2015. This brought the total number of planets in TRAPPIST-1 to seven. And guess what? All seven of them are rocky planets similar to our own Earth. Trappist is an ultra-cool red dwarf star that is slightly larger but much more massive than the planet Jupiter. It is only 39.6 light years away from our Sun in the constellation Aquarius. Three planets orbiting this small wonder are in the habitable zone. This tight-knit system avoided colliding with one another by orbiting with harmonious resonance. It seemed not only to be the best chance to find E.T., 
they are so close to us. Coming to Earth would just be a hop away. And I thought they stood out in the lineup big time as the star of interest. From the possible source of the 2001 Chill Bolton crop circle message sender. Although they are one planet short of the eight the message sender sent, we can't rule out the possibility that there is another Trappist-1 planet we have not yet found. And although we thought the third, fourth, and fifth planets are in the Goldilocks zone, who is to say that our alien neighbors can't live outside the comfortable zone? Maybe the second planet outside the Goldilocks zone offers some super hot real estate deals they just can't resist. Of course, whether the Trappist-1 star system is the home of the Arecibo Answer Circle creator does not really matter. It is hard to imagine finding another solar system with this many Earth-like planets. But recently, NASA found Kepler, a solar system like ours, with eight planets. And you may not know it, but our Sun is actually a rare find in this galaxy. Most stars are red dwarfs, while we have a yellow dwarf. And the newly found Kepler-90 is a star system mini version of our own solar system. You have small planets inside and big planets outside. We don't know much about the mini planets because, because it is very far from us, over 2,500 light years away. But scientists did find a rocky planet Kepler-90, and it is very close to its star. And the average surface temperature may exceed 800 degrees Fahrenheit. Hey, don't rule it out. If Earth thrives after Fahrenheit 911, who's to say aliens can't survive at 800 Fahrenheit? Of course, if you don't believe the 2001 crop circle message was sent from aliens, you won't care much about this far away newly found Kepler-90. If I have to bet, I will still bet on Trappist-1. After all, I don't think aliens 2,500 light years away would care to send long distance messages to us. But if they are only 39 light years away, maybe they will care enough to drop by, right? This is Ken Peters. Thank you for watching.